Hi, I'm Kier. I'm the Communications Director at Dundas Valley School of Art, and we're back with Susan Outlaw, uh, our painting instructor here at the school. And Susan, varnishing. Yes. The final stage, right? The mm -hmm. point when it looks like we're getting ready to have our painting finished. That's right. Talk a little bit about why you'd varnish an oil painting when you're getting to be done, okay. and also what's your process? What do you like? How do you like to do it? Okay, thanks. Good question. Uh, varnishing is, I, I think, imperative. Some people will opt not to varnish, but I think when you varnish a piece, it gives it that sort of luminous, wet look that your painting has when you are working on it. So you kind of want to bring that back. Also, it it connects all the layers together. Sometimes you'll have sort of shiny areas in your painting and matte areas due to the um, medium that you're using. So it, it gives a nice surface to your whole piece. It also gives um, UV protection. Not that you'd ever want to hang a painting by a light source, but it will protect it from sunlight, from smoke, from whatever envir environmental thing is going on in the home. So uh, the way I varnish, I, it took me a long time to get to this product, and uh, I do typically use this product for all of my paintings now. Um, most paintings take either six months up to a year to completely cure so that you can apply a varnish. Although uh, this Gamvar varnish, it's museum archival varnish that um, can be applied when the painting is touch dry. So when I say touch dry, if you take your nail and push it into the thickest area of your oil paint, um, if you don't leave a nail mark, then it's dry. Not that you want to necessarily do that right dead center. And I think as artists, you typically get to know uh, with how much paint you put on your piece, how long it actually does take to dry. So um, what I'm going to do then is pour just a little bit of this Gamvar varnish onto a palette. And you don't need much. They, they do suggest at Gamblin to, um, to use very, very little bits of this varnish. I will only coat this piece once, and, and I find one coat is usually enough. It's very important to have some sort of filtration system in the room that you are um, varnishing because it is quite toxic. So make sure that you have fans, window open, whatever is necessary. So I'll take um, um, an eyeglass cleaner and I will wipe over my painting first to make sure that there isn't any lint or fuzzies or whatever and I make sure that that is looking good. And then um, the best way to varnish is using a fairly big bristle brush. I use uh, a number 18. This is an, a Skoda brush, and it's a little bit hard right now from all the times I've, I've um, varnished, but that's okay, because I just really need the ends to, to dip my brush in, and you don't need a lot. So what I start to do is, is in, the corner of my painting, I actually rub the surface with this varnish. And it's really important to, to look um, at your painting in the light source so, you, so you're assured that the whole piece is covered really, really well. And a circular motion with this varnish is the best way to varnish and um, it assures that you're not using too much. You can't pour this type of varnish onto your painting or you will get ripples and some really strange markings. So it's really important that you, um, whatever varnish you do use, to look at the label and make sure that you are doing it correctly. And there's a little bit of fuzzy on here so I'm just going to wipe it off onto some paper towel and then reapply. So this painting was done on ampersand's gesso board, one of my favorite panels to work, to work on. It's such a beautiful, smooth surface, but the oil paint does, um, does sink a little bit on this surface, so it's great. And then I just go back over the piece to make sure that it's fairly unified and that the corners have been and then the other way.
I think this brush is seen quite a few paintings, and I probably will invest in a new one because they do, they do get old and they could leave bristles. So it's, it's important to get a good brush that doesn't shed its bristles. So that's, that's how the gloss varnish looks wet. It will dry and, and be a little softer, not as glossy as it is right now, but it still will leave this painting looking quite glossy like it was first painted. Um, the wonderful thing about this varnish is if you've made a mistake, um, I have before, it happens, it, it can come off super easily. So if you ever need to take off the varnish, you just use the Gamsol Mineral Spirits and um, dip, it, uh, dip a cloth onto it and rub it off. Take a clean cloth, do one, a once over, rub off and the varnish comes off. Some people do need to take off their varnish after many years of the painting being hung because it gets dusty and dirty and if there's, um, if there's a painting in a home with smokers, the, the painting actually does start to, to get very yellow. So there's many reasons why you would want to take it off and, and then reapply. So yeah, I hope uh, this was helpful and um, you may want to try this product. It's fantastic and it makes your artwork look totally finished. It's hard to imagine that this piece could actually look any better than it was before, but oh, I have to admit, you. the varnish just really makes everything pop. It's, yeah. it's a beautiful still life. Thank um, you. People want to see your work and see the kind of things that you do. Mm -hmm. can they, where can they find it? Yes. Do you have a website? Yeah. yeah, question. I am at SusanOutlaw.com, so that's www.SusanOutlaw.com. Great. And of course, you teach here at the DVSA. I do. Yeah. I do. And yeah. It's a great school. And Wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. We like we love the plugs. <laughs> yes. Um, but you teach a water, uh, waterscapes class. It's yes. one of the things you do. Yes. Uh, and yeah. definitely something that uh, we talked about the earlier mm -hmm. project before, mm -hmm. something that people can, can get involved in. That's okay. right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Go give that a try. And thanks for tuning in. Thank you.